uh, there's a yes. new face in Peronism that emerged in this election, new certainly to observers outside of Argentina, Mr. Sergio Massa, who is uh, mayor or intendente of Tigre, uh, up the delta a little bit. Uh, he's trying to be the leader of the Peronist movement, and he sounds as if he wants to be president in the new elections. What, what can we expect from Mr. Massa? Well, Massa, uh, we have to think not only in Massa, but several uh, personalities, mostly governors or former ministers of Kirchner in the first period. Uh, for example, Alberto Fernandez, that was the prime minister, or Sergio Massa, <coughs> who was the prime minister with Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, or Roberto Lavagna, or many people who were or ministers, even in, in the very well known in the in the in the international scenario. I think that all these people are surrounding the new leadership of Massa or Scioli, who is now the governor of Buenos Aires. What happened is that Peronism has been splitting in recent times, and all these people who were uh, uh, participating very actively in very strong positions during the first phase of Peronism are now rejecting the last period of Peronism and presented presenting an alternative to Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner. The fact is that the Peronism is in one side government and the other side opposition. As well. It was the dream of the old general Perón yeah. that was always thinking to control all the political spectrum, mm -hmm. being opposition and being government at the same time. So what can My we sense is that all these people are very young, they have 40 years or between 40 and 50, and I think that all of them could be sons or children of Alfonsín, Cafiero, Menem, the first generation of the democratic change in 1983. It's a generational change. Yes. Is a change of agenda and is a change of political climate. What What do you expect? And you say a change of agenda. What does Massa represent? Is he more pragmatic? Is he more nationalistic? Is he more business friendly? What can we expect from Mr. Massa if he becomes head of the party? Well, uh, in in the under the point of view of uh, economics, is he's business friendly. He's openly asking for opening of the economy, uh, opening the country to the world, uh, solving the most important issues uh, of economic policy. And I think that uh, this is uh, one side. The other side is in politics. He's not a Peronist in, in the strict sense. He was, uh, he entered into Peronism in the late, uh, late 90s with Menem, and was part of the UCD, that was a movement founded by, by Álvaro Sogaray. He's coming from the liberal sector, liberal conservative sector. So he's now a Peronist, the Peronists accept Massa as a new leader, sure. but in fact he's represented an agenda of opening the economy, opening the institutions, inclusion, participation, and of course a change of the sense of orientation of the last 10 years of right. economic policy. So he's, most he's what, of the issues, he's proposing a change. He's what in the United States or in Western Europe we would call center-right, as opposed center -right. to center-right. Clearly center-right. Okay. 